welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, Guardians of Azeroth. It is I, the Golden Joe Oblivion, and we're back with House Menethil, the rightful rulers of Lordaeron. Here we have High Super Saiyan King Tyrannus, Tyrannus? Tyrannus the second. don't know how to pronounce his name. And his heir is Prince Arthas, who is currently... All right, so let's start from the top. Let's start from the top. Last time... Last time... We were attacked by the Undead Scourge. And as we can see, the Undead Scourge, led by the Lich King Ner'zhul, has, well, amassed his forces in the middle of Lordaeron. We can also see we do actually have the Scourge going through, or it's, it's called just the Plague, but it's the Scourge. Trust me, it's the Scourge. And um, we actually have some pretty, pretty good... War squirt them up. We also have a lot of allies. We have a lot of allies. Scourge subjugation, right. We got a lot of allies. They do not, but they've got a lot of soldiers, and I think they're going to keep getting soldiers as long as the plague is kind of spreading. I don't know for sure, but we will see. We have a positive war score because our great, noble, valiant, legendary Lord Uther the Lightbringer was able to score a successful defense of the capital in a valiant, in a valiant battle. However, Lord Uther's forces are pretty much going to be almost surrounded. And so King Terranus has given him a direct order to re to fall back from the capital. Abandon the capital, which is going to fall because apparently the capital only has 50 men. How that's a thing, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I, we, we got to get ourselves, if we're going to win... If we're going to win this war, we've got to get King Terranus out of the capital. And I don't think we can go into hiding. So let's unforbid him from leading armies. Where are you guys going? Okay. Well, we got to get King Terranus somewhere. Where is King Terranus? We'll throw him here. And who's leading this force here? Let's put... I don't know it. Let's not mess with Arthas because Arthas, remember, he's off in Northrend. He's up here doing his own little thing, and I kind of want to see how the events, what happens with the events. I'm, I'm pretty sure he might lose Arthas, and he might become an enemy, but we will see. If not, if so, we're still going to try to defeat the Scourge. If we lose, then I guess we'll just inherit the realm as an undead Arthas, which is also, also fine with me. But for right now, we've got a war to fight, and we're going to make Lord Uther, along with Joseph Mayer of Darrowshire. And Othmar, Lord of Blackwood, they will lead the, um, what would you call them? They will lead the, oh, we only have 4,000. Technically, we only have 4,000. Our allies at Grim Batol have joined us. The uh, uh, pretty much counter-attack forces that have been mustering at Cardero are going to march on Anderhal, and then they're going to march on the capital. This force here is going to march to Anderhal and meet up with these guys. Ooh. And all these guys are going to go to Anderhal as well. So we're remustering our forces. Now, this will give the Scourge the advantage. They will have the initiative in that we're not going to be combating them in any way, so to speak. And it will allow them to muster their armies together further. So it looks like they're going to be pushing 10k. I think we can get around 10k as well. But we also have to remember, we have allies. We have allies. At least, I hope we have allies. Because I see there's 8,000 men here of Kul Tyras, but I don't know if they have enough ships. You would think they would. You would think they would because they're an island nation. I don't know if they're bringing their ships somewhere else. Doesn't really matter. We've also got allies in Ironforge, not Stromguard. See, I fucked up early game, and I didn't get an alliance with Stromguard. So that's 7,000 men that we could have really, really, really used. I mean, unless this guy can marry somebody... Night, Night Griever, Night Griever, what Death God? She's un, she's undead. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. Um, no, let's see. No, Arthas is married to Lady Celebina of, where is she? Who is she? What kind of? I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of pact that marriage gave us. And then we also have Princess Kalia, who I think, yeah. Prince Tandrit of Kultyrus, and then Arthas, yep. So we kind of fucked up. Oh, he's up here. Ooh. Zoldrakian army. Saladin. And then there's more, yeah, more of the Scourge. This is their domain. The Scourge's domain is, well, the center of Northrend. So 
God, they are a ways away. What is all this? Ooh, little, little islands. Okay, so that's the battle plan for right now. These forces have been just defeated, so we don't really have command of them at the moment. What the fuck is... Who is going... Who's going here? Oh, they have to go... Okay, so this force has to go this way, because if I tell them to go to Anderhal, they'll march through the Legion to get there, or through the Scourge, and that's not ideal. All right, before I get the timer going, I've got a council. A council to manage. Um, Uther, no, we'll pick Jiro. Gyro. And we'll tra have you train our soldiers here. We need a steward. Joram. Yeah, he's... Hmm. He is held up in his own place right now, but that's okay. That's okay. I probably have minor titles, right? No, I don't actually. Excellent. All right. Let the war continue. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, the return from Northrend. Today is a solemn day. Prince Arthas returned home after a successful campaign in Northrend. The people meet meet well meet him as a hero and conqueror of the Scourge, and you are already prepared to meet him in the throne room. As he appears in the entrance to your hall, you rise from your throne to greet them. Suddenly, he pulls his blade from the scabbard and rushes at you. What are you doing? Okay, so exactly as you would expect... Uh, Arthas fulfills his destiny and murders the High King. <laughs> Damn you, Arthas. Damn you. So this so really well played. Uh, 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 how would you say it? Uh, well played game by Nerzul. Like Nerzul had a lot of, uh, you know, he had his his his, his uh, points covered. What I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Okay, the alliance between. Yep. Okay, those are, <laughs> I was just pausing to listen to that death sound. That was, that was kind of funny. All right, enough of this. Yes, 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 I get it. The New Order. Terrible news have come to your hall. Arthas Menethil, driven mad by a room blade, killed the previous ruler, Terranus, right in his throne room and usurped power in the state. When the new High King was finished with the former monarch, he committed mass murder in the province of Lordaeron. Soldiers, men, women, children, guests of the capital, they all were killed. Their bodies lie in bloody piles in the streets. It was a nightmare brought to life, which only a few managed to survive. From the ashes shall arise a new order that will shake the very foundation. All right. So, um, are we still at war with the Scourge? I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm Arthas now. I'm High King Arthas, and I'm undead too. Undead. So we're probably not going to have kids. I'm assuming minus 1,000 fertility means we're not going to have kids, but also probably means we're never going to die either. Grandmaster Death Knight. Ooh, crazy. I like it. Apparently we're preparing a small feast. We're still defending defending against Nerzul. Interesting. Maybe there will be an event to end it or, or, or something. We'll, we'll have to see. Okay, you guys march here. Forces are still coming together. We are still marshalling the men at Anderhal. We are now led by a crazy death knight. Yes, I know. Quite odd. These are odd times. We have a lot of attrition here, too. Well, just 3%, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's crush the Scourge. Let's crush the Scourge. I don't know if we're supposed to lose or not. Uh-oh. Hey, look at this. Council is discontent. Of course they're going to be. We just murdered the last High King, remember? To the great High King Arthas, blessings upon you and your house. These are the terms of your surrender. We lose 200 prestige. He subjugates High King Arthas and raises him as undead. Ooh, just going to slap my mic there for a second. So this is kind of odd. This is an odd choice. Let's see, he's got 45,000 men, we've got 12,000 men, and we have no allies. Actually, no, we do have allies. Can we... You have no allies that are possible to call into war. I don't think we lost our allies, actually. They seem to still be on our side. Yes, they're still on our side, including Elder Drew Ulkex. Ulkaz? Of Raven Tusk. Raven Tusk? I don't know. Hmm... Lich King... Do you think we could beat them? I mean, we've got a positive war score. If we surrender, he subjugates High King Arthas of Lordaeron and raises him as undead. 
I don't really want to be subservient, though. I want to be a king. Because then when we're a king, we can do our own thing. And with Arthas ruling Lord Ron now as an undead, uh, undead guy. Hmm. Undead dude. She, she hates us because we're undead now. Death God, undead. Yep. And Nerzul actually likes us, though, because... We worship the same. We worship the same God. What the hell, man? Hmm. Oh yeah, I see it there. So the undead would really, really like us, but we would have to be subservient to Nerzul. I don't know if I like that, man. Well, you know what? In the story, this is what Arthas does, and if we really want to, we can always break free later. So I guess we'll accept. The alliance between Great Master Antoninus and King Arthas has broken down. Yep. Yep, we're going to go through all this bullshit again. I have to double click these menus. Uh, the new leader of the faction. Arthas Menethil cannot be the leader of this faction anymore. In these dark days of war, control over a faction must be maintained by its most powerful member. In this in the, in this case, the kingdom of Coltyrus, under the leadership of Lord Al Admiral Dalin. It is hoped that their strength will change the fortunes of this faction for the better. Oh, like uh, the Alliance? I guess that's what it means. All right, and you can see that our uh, we are no longer Lord Ron. We are now the Scourge. We have followed Arthas' uh, descent into madness and have established a new order of the undead. Cool. I kind of like it. I don't. I don't like losing Lord Aron, but I. I will accept that this is now the Scourge, right? No, no, no. We're we're subservient to the Scourge. Yes. Okay. King Arthas is subservient to Lich King Nerzul, right? And first things first is we need to get a haircut, because of course we do. Of course we need to. Not many good haircuts. I want to be totally honest. Hmm. Yeah, we can go for the big old braids. Probably not. Probably not going to do that. I like the Super Saiyan look. I like that. Can we get a cool beard? Ooh, maybe. Go backwards? Yes. He will honor his deceased father that he killed himself. That is, that is what we will do. All right, we're not at war with anybody, are we? I don't think so. Nope, these are titles, uh, claims, diplomacy. We're not at war with anybody. I wonder if... Nerzul will declare war on somebody. Well, can we... Ooh. Successor nomination. You should nominate successors for this title. Ooh. Anarchy. I see. Imperial Laws of the Scourge. Nominate a successor. Me! Oh, shit. Yes. Nominate myself. Excellent. Apparently, we vote on leaders in the Scourge. That's kind of odd. Let's disband... Two units will stand down and return home. We'll be able to return home. Why? Oh, cool. Special units. Why do only 7,000 of my men return home? The Dragon Isles. Ooh. That's really annoying. Why, why can't I disband all my forces? All right. That's lame as hell, but um, whatever. Apparently, I only have 1,400 men. Nerzul has taken all of my men. I can't believe that. You son of a bitch. You would you would dare convert to his scourge culture mind control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Arthas should mind control the Lich King. Yeah, that, that would work. Alright. So the Scourge is there. I'm just wondering, is do we can we still declare war and stuff? We cannot. Oh, apparently. We still have men that are raised. That's all of them, right? Should be all of them, right? Maybe. Uh, Lich King Nerzul the Scourge has declared Scourge Blackwoodian subjugation of Lord Othmar. Okay. Lord Arthur and Mayor Joseph of Dareshire. So all of our old allies. Ain't that some shit. War Chief Goal of the Horde. So they still control Altric Valley. And then there's Strawnbrad, And then there are these orcs and shit. Lord Jubithos... Let's see, he's got 3,000 men. I actually have less men than he does. That's pretty crazy. Become a chancellor, no. Become exalted among men, not likely to happen. Acquire a title. Build a war chest. We will build a war chest, I guess, since we have nothing else to do. 
And we can't change our focus for another five fucking years. So that's going to be annoying. Now, can I actually go to war with these guys? I can. Conquest of Dandred. Uh, right. Pagans and nomads can conquer single border counties. Right. Purge lands. You can purge these lands because you think they're occupied by unholy beings. We lose impiety. What the fuck is impiety? Impiety is respected by the clergy. I'm guessing impiety is the undead version of piety. I'm not really sure. But we would lose impiety. Um, we take all occupied territory. I mean, we would be expanding the realm. We would be expanding the realm. Does your claim on Ferry, Volgenfield, Dawn Isles. Offer vassalization, false religion. He also has a decent amount of men. That he does. He actually has a lot of territory. How about you, Murlocs? Can we declare war on you? Conquest of Glistening Shore. Does your claim. How many men do they have? Hardly any. Do we dare conquer the Murlocs? We could also try to conquer these guys, too. Why do they have so many men? That's crazy. Hmm. Maybe the undead have, like, special powers they can use. Let's see. Promote a commander. Invite noble to court. Re raise undead horde. Forget about the peaceful life and change your government type to an undead horde with advanced CBs. Uh, I see. Hold on. I want to look at my vassals one second. They all hate me. Right. So we really have nothing to lose. Raise an undead horde. Government is changed to undead horde. Religious control mandate. Implement late feudal administration. Domain of Lordaeron. Implement uncontrolled vassal wars. Implement religious control mandate. Yes. A 1,000 men regiment arrives in Lordaeron. Reinforce speed 100. I, I see. Okay. And this is my horde, I guess, right? That's not much of a horde, in all honesty. Successor nomination. I will nominate nobody. Apparently, I can't do that. So we'll disable that. Okay, so we're now an undead horde, supposedly. Um, undead horde. What can we do? Undead armies are crap. Yeah, right, right. Crowds of brainless zombies. Um, do we get anything? Cannot usurp tribal monarchies. How does that change my war options? And does that give me more men? It seems to have given me more men, but barely. Event spawned 2,000. And we're hostile with Blackwood. All right, because, yeah. Where... It says we have more men. I'm just not sure where they are, <laughs> which is kind of shit. Are there, like, little lists or something? I can see where my armies are. I have no idea. I see 500 right here. But it says event spawned 2,000. Do I have uh, holdings in Northrend? Oh, shit, I do. All right. Okay, it's an extra 1,000. What is this? No, no, that's, that's not... Uh, Solidinian. I'm not fami familiar with Solidinian, and we got no fucking boats. And there are no mercenaries. So how the hell am I supposed to get those soldiers here? Well, ain't that some shit. You got 57... What do you got? 57 golems. We have golems, apparently. That's odd. Alright. Declare war. Conquest of Dandrek. Invasion of Altric. Nearby Legion rulers might ask to join Lord Jupithos of the Black Song clan in defense of their faith. King Arth is a Lordaeron. Can invade the lands of Lord Jupithos of the Black Song clan. It's successful. The titles to all currently occupied holders will be seized and all vassals will become our vassals. Um, we lose impiety. No matter what we do, it seems. And 500 prestige. That's odd. Yes, we will do the invasion. Let's see, he's got 3,000 men. We've got 3,000 men. It'll be a really, really close uh, uh, war. Um, but we, we have to have faith. We have to have faith in the Scourge. We invade for Ner'zhul. We cannot do it because we don't have impiety or prestige. <laughs> what What the fuck? All right. If you're a new heir, we'll play as my sister. Pick a character focus. Um... Uh, Lich King Ner'zhul has, of the Scourge has transferred the vassalage of Magistrate Marduk, Marduk of Anderhal to King Arthas. All right, and he's given me more people, and more people, and more people. Ooh, 
Yeah, Lordaeron is is falling. It is falling. So how many men does that give me now? Mm, nothing. It gives me nothing. Okay, that's cute. And I can't really declare war or anything until my prestige and shit is uh, goes up. Has declared situation war on New Avalon. Yeah, I, we're just we're having undead parties now. Undead parties. I suppose I should raise all my soldiers and let. Uh, ooh, okay. Raise all our source soldiers. Ooh, accepted Lich King Nerzul's offer for peace. It's great time. Sp it's great to spend time carousing in merry company. While the cups are being refilled, Mayor Beryl brings out a strange board with little decorated pieces. Explain that it's kind of a strategy game. He assures me that it is a great pastime that combines well with copious amounts of drink. We will play for honor. Oh, all right. I cannot invade the orcs because apparently I do not have enough prestige, which is kind of it's kind of silly. Kind of silly for an undead horde to need that. Advanced CBs, my ass. Ooh, treasury. Ah, yes, I've got... I've got Frostborn. Has changed culture to Scourge. Is, okay, that's great. Super. I guess we go and we fight... Ooh, Order of the Silver Hand. Let's go fight them. We don't have enough men, but it's okay. Here, let's get some other people who know what they're doing. Actually, perhaps the glass is fuller than I believed. As long as it does not overflow. Right. So let's go down here and look for people who are willing to join our court. Surely undead peoples. Othmar, you will join us. He's undead, isn't he? He is, but the the helmet doesn't reflect. Uh, you know, doesn't uh, doesn't reflect that. Invite to court. Yeah, I think I think we'll settle with that. We'll settle with that. Appoint commander. Um, to the glorious King Arthur's blessings upon you. And now he hates us too. Once control the manor up in there. You gave me that stuff, you asshole! Offer to join war. Scourge subjugation. All help is appreciated. Yes! We will join their wars. He wants us as a commander. No, I can't do that. We we're leading our own armies right now. Yeah. Lord Varington of Death Nell, tell, tell me that Mayor Jiro of Capital is preaching his false faith. Expose and denounce him. He is an infidel. Demand religious conversion? No. Mind control? I can mind control people. Do it. Arthas gets two mana. Four mana will be removed. I guess mana gets uh, grows over time? Did that work? I don't know if that worked. To the Great King. All right, we got our people here. You have finished the preparations for today's ritual and begun to carry it out in the darkness of the room where you were completely shrouded in silence. You begin to see vague images. They grow more vivid and you soon feel as though the ritual is nearly complete. I will bring the matter to an end. You pierce the depths of this guy's mind. You leave your trance. This time I will be merciful. Now we will explore this magic. We will explore the magic. You have successfully penetrated the very depths of the mind of your target. Now you can easily inspire him to be of the utmost loyalty to you. However, there may be some unforeseen consequences as a result of your intrusion. As planned. They, this might have repercussions upon my soul. What? <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Yeah, we mind controlled him, I thought. Loyal servant, plus 50, slandered, minus 50, which I didn't slander you. I didn't slander you, fool. I didn't do that. But because, ooh, yes, request council support, I can still imprison him. And then I could probably demand... Right, so he's going to hate us for imprisoning him. But I think we can demand... Oh, we can turn him undead. You kill the character in the name of Mayor Jiro and resurrect him as a faithful corpse. Do it. Do it. Uh, the prisoner you chose is prepared for the transformation. Wielding daggers, your acolytes commit ritual murder to carry out the process. He almost left this world, but you brought his soul back using dark magic. Oh, terrible. Turn into an undead. He becomes a... He, he gets uh, undead, and he gets 50 loyalty. And plus, he'll probably convert to, uh, you know, the, the death god and shit. Turn into a blood-sucking vampire. He gets vampire. 
This character is a vampire. Intrigue plus two. Diplomacy minus two. Same trait opinion. General opinion minus one. Reincarnate into an ethereal lich. Lich. Those ascend into the tears of the necromantic magic. Sacrifice themselves for unspeakably holy power. Ooh. Will he be even more loyal? I, okay, I don't really know how this works, so let's just start off simple and make him undead. And maybe that will convert him. Though my last act of worship has been some time ago, I can still sense an inhuman touch upon my soul whenever I think about what I did. I have become a changed man. Gains the cruel. Gains the trait cruel. Alright. I'm not really that concerned about it. And here we go! He is now undead, and he worships the Death God. And he likes us, kind of, sort of. He still thinks we slandered him, though. Award an honorary title. We will give you... I don't know about Designated Regent, but uh, we certainly certainly could give you some titles. We do need a Designated Regent. Who is my most liked person? Who am I married to? Oh, I'm not married to anybody. Cannot do anything with La Sister. I wonder if I can marry somebody and still build alliances. Let's see. Probably not. Verkul. Lord Oranian. Vicky. We could marry Vicky and turn her into undead. Doesn't really matter, you know, because we can't have kids anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Um, let's not worry about that then. Well, I just forgot what I was doing. So we will continue on with our little war here. We are battling some people. Ooh, the Battle of Hearthglen Way. Our ongoing struggle outside of Silver Tower has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them is a Lord Iranian veteran with a penchant for innovation. He is suggesting that he retire from the battlefront and return to Lordaeron to continue his work safe from flying arrows. This sounds like a solid investment. We get military technology points. We lose gold. Nonsense! We need any available resource to us. A commander named Lycan of Venom Web Vale joins. Yeah, but he hates us, though. Now, nah, let's let it, let's let him retire. Banish without a trace, and then that would give us more technology. I don't know if it'll really allow us to upgrade anything, but that's okay. That is fine. So we are finding... This is Hearthglen? Hearthglen Way, yes. All right. Ooh. Yes, I desire to hunt down the Order of the Silver Hand, just as Arthas did. What the fuck is this? Grim Batol. Okay. Excellent. Ooh. The Silver Hand is no longer... The Silver Hand no longer exists. Interesting. We must march on Grim Batol. The Scourge cometh. We should... I mean, I would love to make everybody undead, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. One day, you'll have to specialize. I hear the voice of my old quartermaster in my head as I look out over the battlefield and the hills of Cardero. The sight fills me with resolve. I need to find a focus for future battles. What will it be? Master of Rough Terrain. That would actually be pretty good. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Special units? It looks like ghouls. Crazy. We'll master Rough Terrain. We will crush the enemies. We'll crush the dwarves! This campaign has been easy pickings. Swinging my sword over the hills is a pleasure, and my fellow soldiers are equally jovial, surrounded by the blood of our wild hammer enemies and the cries of battle. Look! Enemy commander Gregus is hiding! Suddenly, Someone suddenly shouts, pointing off in the distance. Ah, how lovely. I shall duel the commander myself. This option is available because you are a better dueler than Gregus. You chase down you chase down Gregus. I will let everyone know of his cowardice. Mocked <laughs> me in battle. What is our dual skill? Our dual skill is... How do I look that up? I've seen it before. Personal combat skills, 125. Ooh. Theirs is only 13. I shall duel him myself. I was chasing Gregus over the hills when Joseph shoved me aside barking. I'll take this one, my lord. Clumsily swinging his mace. Oh my, how... Chivalrous. Joseph did well in the duel. I like the new duel system. I like that. That's kind of funny. He did well, and he killed them. Oh, nice. Joseph Redpath. And you are undead, too. Interesting. I like it. All right. So we're still fighting with the Scourge and Ner'zhul. Awesome. Ooh. Let's, let's ch hunt them down. Hunt them down. We will fight them. We will hunt these dwarves. Excellent. 
The invasion of the Burning Legion. The world of Azeroth is threatened once again. Demons of the Burning Legion have found a way into your world. With the great magic of Lich King Nerzu and powerful artifacts, the border between Azeroth and the Twisting Nether has been erased. Hundreds of demons surge into your world through portals. The Burning Crusade has begun. The destiny of Azeroth hangs in the balance. The Burning Legion must be stopped. Lord Archimond. Oh shit, it's Lord Archimond. Holy shit. And, and for some reason, Tyrande's there. I'm not sure why she's there. Are we enemies? I think we are enemies of the um, the Burning Legion. They're not friendly. Apparently, we're not at war with Stromgar, too. We need to get Arthas out of here, because that force... Where are they going? They're going to Hillsbrad? Hmm. Okay, this, this is... No. No, I don't think we're at war with Stromgard. It's just they're hostile to us. So let's hunt down these dwarves. We will hunt down these dwarves. And... Well, we are a loyal servant of the Scourge, but that, that is only temporary for when the moment is right, we will rise and King Arthas will become the new... I wonder if there will be an option for us to become the new Lich King. Like, after all of this is taken and shit, you know, Ner'zhul and Arthas combining into one to create the Lich King, maybe then we will be the Emperor of all undead. But that will have to happen in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, Guardians of Azeroth. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. And until next time, I will see you all later.